morning, church. We are glad to be here with you once again. We hope you had a beautiful week, me and this guy again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you so much for being here. You know, Church 46 stand, we, we love you. And, and here we are again. We got something real good for you. Okay? Amen. Yes. And I know it's close to the holiday season and we just hope that you're with uh, your families and you know it's a we want to slow things down a little bit because some of us don't have those family members. You know, we're going through trials in our hearts. We close the door and we're longing and we're missing someone very dear to our yes, hearts. Yes. You know, I know that you have someone as a friend or a family, a coworker that confides in you that you know, maybe they don't share it that often, but they're going through things and um, we're just we're just real grateful that we, you can allow us to be in your home on your cell phone on your way yes. to work whatever it may be that we're here to break bread amen amen and uh, and just know that you're not the only one um, um, this is gonna be real uh, how will I call it son um, special to us uh, why because we're gonna be talking about um, loved ones that has passed away. Amen. And and as much as we you know we love them you know we know that as some believers you know they're in a good place amen you know and and we know that we're not the only ones that amen. you know there's a lot of people that probably you you lost a, a family member um, a brother a sister you know amen. your mom dad you know amen and and to us it's 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 a special because. Um, on May the 1st, uh, my sister passed away. And last year, it was the last Thanksgiving that the, the, that we were together as a family, son. Yeah. So, man, you know what I mean? It's a, it's it's going to be sentimental. You know, if we just want to share with you guys. You know what I mean? Amen. The, you know, sometimes it's okay to cry. Amen. And. As we, uh, me and my dad, we like to talk and, you know, when we, uh, we like to be vulnerable with each other and we tell each other how we're feeling and sometimes that it's okay to live with a broken heart sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mainly because you need your strength from the living God, Jesus Christ. Yes. First and foremost, we can't, Amen. sometimes Amen. we don't even want to get out of bed because you, you don't want to be wallowed up by the pain and suffering and seeing your loved ones. Sometimes we're the strong ones and I go, okay. I put my bootstraps on. All right, let's do this. But then you see, you know, my grandmother, my mom. You know, we we see people that are man. They're they're a little on the downside, and it hurts you even more because yes. all the strength, all the all the toughness that you build yourself up. Like mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna conquer the day today. And as soon as you see someone, you forget about that because you're you have this empathy. Like man, you know, I feel you. I love you. I wish I can remove the suffering from you. Yes. You know, and us, we're so grateful that. That Jesus is our rock, and we're yes. here to share that with you because Jesus, He loves us, He cares yes. for us. Yes. Man, you don't know what it is to have an embrace of Jesus when He says, "You know, I love you. I will restore you. What you think you've lost, I will give you tenfold." And we've experienced that. Yes, yes. Uh, we, we we experienced that with my sister. Amen. Uh, on, like I said, on May the first, you know, she passed away, and and it was very hard. It's still hard. But you know what? As as believers, the Bible says, "Being absent from the body is being in the presence of God." You know what? We know that that, that my sister is in heaven. You Amen. know, if if you love ones that you lost, you know what? Know that they're in heaven. Amen. That's that's the hope that we have. Son. Amen. Amen. You know that one day we're gonna be in that place too. Amen. And um, as we like to say, is you know she won the race and she ran the race as if she was gonna win. Yes. You know um, when she was going through her pain, it was very sudden. And a little background on my aunt: she was 49 years old, left us a beautiful, um, you know, my little my little cousin, my you know, niece. His, his niece, you know, eight years old, and we have a little breath of fresh air in her every day that we get to spend time and. You know, teach her and raise her in the ways of the Lord. Teach her about morals, ethics, uh, manners, all these great things. And but we know that my aunt, man, through the very last days, you know, she she was so passionate. She was on fire for Jesus. Amen. And she that's was. one thing that we say, man. If you know, in her in her pain and in you know in her struggles, she always said, 
you know, Jesus is Lord. Amen, amen. <laughs> and um, and we're going to share something, a uh, scripture from the Bible that, you know, the God is for us. Amen. You know, he's the only one that, that is going to come for us. He's the only one that is going to, those wounds that we have right now, he's the one that is going to heal them. Amen. You know, we never gonna, we never, never going to, you know, forget about our loved ones. Amen. You know, this is gonna be on. You know, we're gonna remember them until we go to heaven. So. Amen. Amen. You know, but go ahead and which scriptures are we gonna share this? Alrighty, morning? folks, we're gonna be reading out of Second Corinthians. It's towards the end of your Bible. Um, so there's First Corinthians, Second Corinthians. We're gonna be reading out of the first chapter, um, verse three. All right, so it says, Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort. Uh, verse 4, Who comforts us in all of our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort that we ourselves receive from Christ. Amen. And that's so amazing because, yes. I mean, it's kind of like, do we even need to explain it? But I guess we will. Yes. Um, we go through pain, through suffering, through yes. heartbreak. You know, family members, relationships. Losing our jobs, losing our identities, and God comes and He restores us. Yes, you know He. Whatever we thought was the end of the world, it was God was just like, no, that's just the first step to get you to where I need you to be. Amen. And once we're living in in the faith, we're living in in God's promise. God's like saying, hey, hey, but remember where I brought you from. Yes. Look at your brother and sister. Look at that person that just lost their job and you lost your job five years ago and you know what that felt like. Mm -hmm, that's right. Reach out to them and you mm -hmm. tell them, hey, it's going to be okay. Put your faith in Jesus and you can comfort that person. You can comfort that woman to say, hey, come on, girl. You got this with the broken relationships. Yes. You know, you can comfort those because God gave us that comfort and it's like, wow. It's kind of like. You're paying it forward in a sense, and that's all God wants. Because yes. God gets us out of a bad spot all the time and pushes us forward. Just say, okay, daughters, go ahead, son. Just push it forward and help those around yes, you. Yes, amen. And, 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 and that's what God does. You know? Amen. He, he's, he, he's good. I mean, God is love. You know, he amen. comes, he comforts you. He loves you, you know. And, and why? Because like you said, he wants us to go and comfort others. Amen. You know. Losing my sister, now we can we can go and, and come for other people. Amen. The, somebody that loves their you know their daughter, somebody Amen. that loves their you know sister. Amen. You know we know the feeling, son. Amen. And uh, we, we know how to you know the feeling, what to tell them. And one thing that we proud you know pride ourselves with is thank God that God chose our family because we know full well that other families that you know maybe don't know the Lord. Man, just the trouble and the heartbreak. You know, families fall apart when they lose stability, they lose their loved ones, they all separate. But such a blessing that God said, you know what? You guys are fit for this challenge. You guys won't waver in faith. Yes, yes. You guys will be a true testament to others because other families wouldn't handle it. But you guys will. And you know what? It's going to be for the glory of God. And here we are through my eye. We're praising God and we're saying, you know what? We're living with her, you know, in spirit saying, you know what? God did it. She won the race, and we got. We know that yes. full well, and we're just grateful that we're, you know, our family was strong enough to say, if we can do it, you guys can do it too. Yes, yes, and you know the the amazing thing about all of this, you know, people that don't even know, they're calling me, mm -hmm. and they're telling me, Frank, I know you because man, your sister told me everything about you. Amen. You know, yeah. your sister, she was so proud about you, man. Amen. You know. And man, to that you know brings joy into my heart. You know, to know that my sister loved me. You know, Amen. and now what I gotta do, you know, love my niece. Amen. You know, yes. love you know her husband. Mm -hmm. You know, that man. You know, one day we're gonna be in that place too. You know, Amen. But for right now, we just gotta be. We have to fight the good race. Amen. You know. The God is with us, you know. Amen. There's times where where I tell God, Lord, I need you, Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, every time I think about my sister, I start crying. I say, Lord, man, you know how we're we gonna do it. You know, I just need you, Lord. You know, I start crying. I man, I just cry and cry and cry, and I, I tell God, Lord, you know what? I love you. Amen. You know, because I know, 
you know, my sister is in a good place. Amen. You know, and that goes for you too. You know, have you lost someone, a loved one, a friend? You know what? As a believers, you know what? I rejoice. Amen. That my sister is in heaven. Hallelujah. You know, so we want to tell you right now that you know what? The hope that we have that one day we're going to be in that place too. Mm -hmm. We're going to be in heaven. Amen. You know, so, but we want to tell you, you know, let, let God come for you. Amen. If you, if you, if you, if you suffering right now, tell God, Lord, please come, you know, come for me. You know, I want to feel your love. Amen. You know, and he's going to do it, son. Amen. And, um, I'm just super, uh, super blessed that we can share this message and it's a genuine message. And I'm sure you guys are watching us like, look at those two crazy dudes. Mm -hmm. But that's the beauty of it, that we can find victory even in death yes. because God has conquered the grave. Yes, amen. You know, we're rejoicing in, in the passing of our loved one. Yes. It's not that that we that we didn't have the, the, the love for them. Of course, we love them dearly when we yes. lay our own lives for them. But it's to know, but we look at it from a, the grand view. It's like, man, yes. she's in heaven with the Lord and amen. where not even death can shake you. You know, I want you to have the same peace, the same confidence in Jesus. And I'm yes. telling you, your life will be so amazing yes. that way. Amen. There's another scripture that we want to share with you as uh, James 1, 2. It says, Consider pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Amen. I did not understand what it meant when God says, Consider pure joy. Mm -hmm. Lord, how can I, how can I, have joy when my sister passed away. It's like a contradiction, like. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh -huh. But then I remember that that joy comes when you have a relationship with God. Amen. When when He's in the center of your life, then that's when the joy comes. Because you know what? I have the joy because I know where my sister is. Amen. You Amen. know that that she's in heaven. Amen. You know, and when we trust Him with all our heart. And when we know Him, when we go deeper with amen. Him, man, that's when that that's when the joy comes. Son. Hallelujah, Amen, Amen. Wow, Hallelujah, <laughs> Amen, Amen. Yes, Amen. And just know that God is ready to fill our hearts with joy. You know, He's going to give us that embrace as a good Father does. And you know, we're just so grateful that you can allow us to, you know, share our testimony and, you know, our our heartbreaks because we're human. And that's one thing that yes. with our great pastors that we have and our those those uh, leaderships that we have is to just preach a genuine gospel to be broken. We're all broken, like just like yes. you guys, Amen. you know, and it's OK to be vulnerable and to tell people, yeah, I'm weak. Yes, I make mistakes. Yes, I doubt myself. But you know what? I'm more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus, and so are you. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> you said it all, son. Amen. Yes. You know what? No matter what you're going through. You know, Thanksgiving is about being with family. You know what? Be happy that you have your family. Yes. Be happy, you know what, that you have loved ones that love you. Sometimes we don't say, I love you enough. You know what? This is the time where you tell tell you, the, the people that you love, tell them that you love them. Amen. You know, because sometimes, son, we, will not, we, we might not see them again. Amen. You know, so I'm telling you right now, you know what, man, you know, we wish you a, a, a happy, a blessed Thanksgiving with your family. Amen. We, we love you. Church 46 Stem, we love you. And uh, man, you know, we're so happy for you. Amen. You know, so if you need prayer, if you need anything, you know, please let, let us know. Amen. Son. No, yeah, we just want to uh, say thank you again. We hope you guys have a great time with family. Enjoy the turkey or the vegan turkey. Uh, <laughs> but we thank you so much for allowing us to join you guys on this beautiful time. And Amen. we love you. Part of 4610. You guys are amazing. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. See we you love, you. love you. That's 